New tonight at 10, Huntsville City Schools is considering making some changes to the dress code for all students starting in the fall. Our Way 31's Cody Fisher joins us live in Huntsville to break down what the changes are and how this could impact students. Cody. Yeah, now, the, Naja, there's a couple of big changes in the dress code that the district talked about tonight during the Board of Education meeting. One of them is if you're wearing a really big baggy shirt that goes down almost to your knee, well, that shirt is going to have to be tucked in. And another change is that all shorts being worn by anybody in the district, both boys and girls, will have to go at least down to the mid thigh. Now, I spoke with one student who's going into the eighth grade next year, and he told me that the current dress code caused some tension last year. Joel Bowen is a student in the district. He tells me some girls would wear baggy shirts and hoodies that would go below shorts they were wearing. And the teachers would get on to them and they would get all mad because they thought it was unfair because the guys didn't really have a dress code, so they would get all mad. If the district approves these changes, girls will have to tuck in those baggy shirts and hoodies. Another proposed change includes students now being allowed to wear scarves and bandanas as long as they're not gang related. Jim Parks has two students in the district. He does not like that proposed change. I'm not agreeing with the scarf wearing and the band, you know, which is. Gang affiliated, which is not, is hard to say. Bowen tells me a new dress code policy might take some getting used to in the new year. I don't think it impacts the learning, it just impacts um, like the drama and the tension sometimes between the students and teachers. Now, the district came up with these proposed changes by gathering 1,800 survey responses from teachers, parents, and students in the district. Now, the Board of Education still has to vote on these changes at the next board meeting on July 11th. Now, also here during the Board of Education meeting tonight, the board voted unanimously to consolidate certain bus routes to save the district over $350,000 a year. And the board voted to increase school lunches by 30 cents. And that's to meet a federal, federal regulation that requires them to make that change because the cost of food is going up in general. Reporting live in Huntsville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.